All right. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Dragon in Japan, or Dragon Goes to Japan, whichever one you prefer. Um, I am currently at the Korokan Ruins in Fukuoka, Japan. Um, and I know that sounds like a very funny name, but it's really not. It's really amazing here. Um, this is what's the remains of the basin or like the yard here in Fukuoka at the Korokan Ruins. Korokan Ruins. As you can see, there's really not a whole lot here left. It's pretty much all gone. So it's kind of sad. But I'm going to flip this camera around so you can see. That's where I'm going next is the Fukuoka Castle Ruins. Amazing. It's a five layered structure in Japan. It is one of the biggest old castles in Japan. And most of the standing structure or the walls is still there. It's really cool. I'm excited to go on this little journey today <laughs> through the uh, castle ruins. Um, all right, I'm going to flip around one more time. This building over here, this giant building that you see in front of you, is part of the excavation attempt for the baseball team here in Fukuoka. I think it's called the Daiwar Baseball Stadium. It was supposed to be built actually on the corner um, of these ruins. It goes that way, as I mean that way, as I'm assuming it would be directly standing how I am, it's north, so I'll point it this way. Over that way, there's the remains of another old um, part of Japan. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, it's another ruined site though, that they uncovered while building, uh, along with an ancient road, and there's so many cool pottery things. I'm putting the video, uh, the pictures, on my Facebook page, at Russ Francis. Um, if you can't find me, look up Michigan and you'll find me instantly. Uh, I'm going to change my profile picture though, just to kind of update a little bit more. <laughs> but yes, this is going to be an extremely cool, but I am all the way in Fukuoka, Japan, exploring the ruins here. Very cool. So everyone knows this is the front gate to the castle, well one of the entrances. As you can see, most of the walls are still standing. I actually just watched a small video on how cool all this stuff is, so I'm a little excited to go exploring. Um, so I'll fill myself in, everyone in a little bit more about myself while I'm on this little journey. Um, I'm a history major. Um, so yeah, I picked a very boring topic to major in in college, but yeah, I think it helps a lot when you wanna go exploring in another country, um, especially on this endeavor. This is gonna be fun. Um, I'm going to climb to the highest level of this castle, which is going to put me somewhere, I think, in the middle somewhere, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, it is a little odd because I'm right next to um, a field into a park. So the ruins are really close to civilization, like really close. Like here's a park that's right next to where we are. So pretty big place. If I pan around a little fast, then sorry, I'll fix it in the video. And I'll probably edit some of that out. Maybe not. We'll just leave it a cut, a rough video. I think those are funner anyway. So I'm walking upstairs. Okay. And here's up here. There's a few benches, as you can see behind me, for people that get tired when they're walking. So they've done a little bit of work to make it more accessible for the general population, as well as for all the people that come to visit, because it is such a big place. So. Here's a look from the very first level of how high up we are. So as you can see, we're pretty high up. So. Oh, and for those who don't know, in Japan, crows are everywhere. And I mean everywhere. I've seen more crows here than I've ever seen in the United States. So. It's really cool, but being is that I just moved here, I'm partly exploring as well, so. But that's why I want to make videos so everybody can see what I'm doing back home. But tennis courts are built up next to this, as you can see. A little hard to see through the brush, but there's tennis courts over there. And this is another chunk of the wall.
And to just give people a rough idea about how old these walls are, about 800 years. So these block walls have been cut and stationed here for 800 years. No one's moved them. No one's touched them. And no one has apparently, from what I've understood, has conquered Fukuoka Castle. It just got really old and broke down. But that's part of history. Things change, get old, break down, rebuild. They're actually doing a lot of remodeling here that I've seen. But I'm excited. But exploring is the best part about being in Japan. Especially being a foreigner. So, it's always fun. But wandering around. Um, this video will be very long. It'll probably be cut up into about three or four spots. Just because of how big this place is. It's huge. It's over 13,000 meters so it's like 4,000 plus square feet I believe is what it is not sure I'll figure it out I'll do the diagram the motivational speaking sorry if it's like this it's because it's easier to watch I don't have a selfie stick so I'm not sure what I just came across but it is a stone in the ground I'm assuming it's a memorial of some kind I'm not sure um oh and for anyone who's really curious Cats are everywhere in Japan. I mean, everywhere. I've seen, I couldn't tell you how many stray cats. And I just see one right now. Most of them don't have their tail, though. That seems weird, but a lot of animals get run over here. And not taken care of. So, I just found a bench that looks really bad. I mean, I don't know if you can see that clear enough. It's, it's broken pretty bad pretty old it looks like it's been here since the dawn of time maybe maybe not we'll see um, I just rose up to the second level though here at the Fukuoka castle so roughly every level that I've gone up so far has felt about 20 to 30 feet that's a rough guess so if you look at it that way at about 50 meters is the highest level of this castle so that's a long climb here's another representation of how high up I am right down there that's a far drop no thanks but it's cool so but I'm exploring still haven't met a lot of people here in Japan yet we're working on it that's why I'm making the video maybe I'll find someone who watches my boring or lame videos and who knows we'll see how it goes but oh sports drinks are definitely a little different here so be careful but there are a lot of cool things I'm gonna switch hands just because my arms get tired I'm carrying around my um, satchel today this right here my lifesaver couple drinks some melon bread things to just snack and eat and try and enjoy my little excursion um, like I said crows are everywhere you can hear them too so there's a lot of sports days and stuff like that here, so there's a lot of tracks. Japan actually has more schools than the U.S., and I literally mean that. So if there was, oh, I go to a big school or a small school, no. Those of you who are watching from Oxford, okay, our school is big in size, but here, the area that covers Oxford might have 15 to 20 schools in it and have a bigger population. So it's a little crazy. And here's what I mean by cats are everywhere. See? There's a cat right there. I don't know how friendly it is. Hi, kitty. Meow. Meow. Doesn't look like it's doing too well. So, I don't want to agitate it too much. But, yeah, there's a lot of cats here. I've, there's actually three cats I've seen up here just alone in the last five minutes. So, hi, kitty. Neko. Echo. So I don't know the response to animals here yet. I'll practice here in a few minutes. We'll see what I can do. But all right, look for part two here in a few minutes.